In 1913, Great Britain was spending 77 millions on armaments. That was when we were on the brink of war, threatened by the strongest army in the world and nearly the strongest navy. Now, when the German army is reduced to a militia and the German fleet at the bottom of the sea, we are spending 116 millions. Allowing for the rise in prices, that is about the same in purchasing power. But considering the present poverty of the nation, it is a much greater burden. 77 millions at a time of acute danger. 116 millions when there is no visible danger at all. Is that common sense? And most other countries are doing much the same. Though the German and Austrian armies have been practically abolished, there are still almost as many men under arms in Europe today as there were in 1913. It is not the policy of liberals to urge that Great Britain should disarm alone. We could certainly reduce the present expenditure, even as things are. But the only safe and effective disarmament on a large scale must be, in the words of the Covenant of the League of Nations, a general reduction and limitation of armaments by international agreement. All the nations must agree, or at least all the great nations, for if the great nations agree, the rest will follow. Why do the nations not agree? It is partly because the militarists everywhere still believe that the way to have peace is to prepare for war. Mr. Churchill once put this view very clearly. He said, There is one certain way of obtaining peace, to be so much stronger than your prospective enemy that he will not dare to attack you. That is what the militarists really believe. Just think of it. England is to make sure of peace by being much stronger than France and France is to make sure of peace by being much stronger than England. And Germany is to be much stronger than France, and France is to be much stronger than Germany. And then, when everybody is much stronger than anybody else, all will be well. Is it not madness? Mad politics, mad morals, and mad arithmetic. That way does not lead to safety. It leads to a race in armaments, and as Lord Grey has told us, it was the race in armaments that made the Great War.